Hey, Gary. Hey, Tanoj. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Tapping In with Gary Spivey. I am Gary Spivey, and I love you guys, and I'm so happy to be here. I'm happy to be here with all you guys, and uh, there's a lot going on. There's a whole lot of things going on that are neg that's negative. Uh, there's a whole lot of things going on that's positive, and, and we just want to out positive the negative. That's what we want to do tonight. Uh, there's a, a, lot of, a lot of light. Uh, there's a lot of spiritual gifts. There's a lot of brand new spiritual gifts that that I got a hold of when I was going through my little COVID experience. And actually, it wasn't a little COVID experience. Thank you guys for saying all these wonderful um, prayers and have you know you, you had your healing circles and 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 don't stop doing that. Keep doing it. Keep doing it because we have a lot of people that are sick uh, and and going through crisis things. And so this seems to be crisis du jour, and so crisis of the day. And so we want to uh, we want to send a lot of healing out to everybody who's who's sick with covid and we want to send out a lot of healing to everybody sick with anything and so we'll do that we're going to do a lot of healing tonight i got these new spiritual gifts of healing and i got these new spiritual gifts to clear everybody and clear things and so uh so that's what i just want to work on i want to work on you guys tonight i appreciate you uh and i thank you for being here thank you so much uh thank you for joining us and and uh uh hey dino hey michelle how you guys doing <laughs> Doing good. Great. good good you're still Last in week. Vegas. you're still in vegas out there running around having fun yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh you're looking good look at that you know? thank you you're looking good <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. she looks all happy she looks all pretty and happy i'm not there no, she misses you. <laughs> no I, can, I can actually oh, tap into her energy she actually misses you tonight i i always miss <laughs> you really don't know, not really but you actually do miss him today you know i can feel it i can feel it i can feel, I can feel it they're like dino where are you what are you doing yeah. what's you up to i got kidnapped by gary oh there we are in north carolina yeah i see a bunch of friends hey peter lopez what you doing hey buddy i love you <laughs> I see a bunch of bunch of you guys i love i love looking at the gallery views because then i can just see all you you know, I feel like I'm in romper room or something. You know, <laughs> this is awesome. Wow, look at that. Hey, James Christie, what up, buddy? How you doing? Hey, Bunny Lee, how you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you guys. I just, I love you guys. And so there's all kinds of things. I see candy and bean, candy bean. I see uh, Lindsay's iPhone always. Hey, girl. Hello, sir. You know, I, I, I never know if Lindsay's a guy or a girl. I'm like, what, what is this? Anyway, but I think you're, at, at, no, you're a girl. And so, so, <laughs> so I can see. And so, but, uh, I, Suzanne, hey, my buddy, I love you, Suzanne Walscott. And so, so I just, I, I just, you know, I, I just love hanging out with you guys. It's like hanging out with your best buddies, you know? And so I get to hang out with my friends and, and I want to share with you guys all these new spiritual gifts I got that are just crazy you know, Karen, what up? And so good to see you guys. And so uh, there, there's there's a lot of new spiritual gifts, but there's there's some really quick ways to clear yourself. And so I'm going to work with you guys uh, today. Hey, Freddie, yes. I, you know, I, I'm going to work with you guys on, on clearing yourself <clears throat> because this is something um, that, that you, you, you need to do. Now we do an energy clearing every Wednesday for all you guys that are in the online club, you know, well, you know, the enlightenment club, uh, I clear your energy for you and teach you what is the best thing to clear your energy uh, of the day. I call it, you know, we always got demons du jour, if you would, the demons of the day. And so there's also spiritual gifts of the day. And these spiritual gifts really do set you free and they clear all the all the kind of crazy uh, negative things that are messing with you. And so so I, I'm going to work with you tonight to get you guys all cleared up to where you feel good. And so that's what I'm doing. And so um and and to do this i i'm really angelically led uh you, you think you know well he probably sat there and thought about this for a while today and tried to figure out what's what he's going to do but no i really didn't i give it no thought whatsoever and so if you if you go with things and allow spiritually uh you're going to get a lot more out of it you know then you hey pierce and you're going to get so much more out of it than you do if you sit and you overthink it i think that that everybody has has this thing to 
today where you want to do something to make it better and you want to do it so bad that you overthink yourself into crazy land and and so and make yourself crazy and then you come back around once or twice and you realize well i didn't accomplish anything except drove myself nuts and everybody around me and so so what you got to do is you just have to allow and feel it see it know it and and you go with what comes to you now when i uh, talk to um your angels and the the angels of the world if you would the big giant angels in the cosmos the big god angels and i got these new heavens that got opened up to me uh when i went through my dying experience with the whole covid thing and so when these new heavens opened up i got all these new spiritual gifts and so these are the ones i'll be sharing with you for quite a while you know because they keep on coming and so i see a layer i want you guys to imagine first of all i want you to raise your hands up raise raise a hand up and say god give me a golden staff please God, give me a golden staff, please. And this looks like sort of like the staff that the Statue of Liberty would, would hold. And so I see you holding this golden staff. And now then I want you to bring it down and I want you to put a layer of gold around the whole planet. And there you go. How many of your sinuses open and you felt warm right then? How many of you guys? Raise your hand if you felt that. You felt that. See? You felt that. Okay? And so that layer of gold went around the whole planet. So you not only helped you out, but you helped out the whole planet. Nice, right? Well, you live on the planet. You're here, right? And so, so therefore, you, you actually brought down the light to the whole earth. Now, I want you to bring down the light, and I want you to imagine your house. Take this golden staff, and I want you to imagine your house golden. Imagine your house, where you live, where you are, golden. Now, this golden light energy is very bright. Now, you guys felt a little warm right then. Feel how your face got a little warm, your feet got a little tingly. You know, raise your hand if you got if you felt those little sensations, different sensations through your body. Yeah, a bunch of guys, all you guys. Look at you. Okay, okay, that was the light. That was the light as it just came right down and went around you. And so, and it went around your house, and this was a protection of light from this new golden heaven that opened up in the last little while and so this new golden heaven it looks very crystal like like these citrine crystals here you know that, that are around me it, it, it's actually made of like that and so it's a real pretty crystal um heaven and so and th this heaven actually is very easy to connect to and you guys will be able to do this all you got to do is think about it a little bit, and it'll come right down to you. Used to, this was impossible. These particular heavens were not even opened up. And so, and now they are. And the reason is because we need so much light on the planet. You guys need light to help heal you, to help you, your friends, family, loved ones. I want you, I'm looking at the gallery view now. I want you guys to raise your hand if you know someone or got some friends that's got COVID. Raise your, raise your, oh, you look at all you guys. Look at all you guys. There we go. Everybody's got got this going on. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to I want you to think of that person. Okay. I want you to think of that person. And what we're gonna do, we're going to bring down the light and we're gonna work on healing. Help help send all the healing energy we can. Okay? And so, and that's what we're going to be doing through the night, through the night. Every time we go to a really high level of healing, we're going to bring down some light and we're going to help out some people because light matters. How do you get above the dark? Well, you light yourself up, you get lit up. And so how do you do that? Well, these new spiritual gifts will work it out. And so now then I want you guys to imagine a purple crystal. Okay. I want you to imagine a purple crystal. And so, um, and and so uh, hey peter are you home by any chance you've got a purple crystal around you there you have a purple crystal i know you, you do can you can you let us see that can you can we do that can we go to peter lopez and we and we i want to look at um, yep. hold on one second I'll go to him. Uh, oh yeah he's gonna he's gonna run and get the, i just want to because it's a perfect perfect example of 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 what i see and the spiritual gift that that i can get you guys and so this is really, really, really important. And do we have Carolina from Vegas? Do we have her on? Is she on tonight by any chance? Uh, do you know Carolina's last name by any chance? Uh, I don't have it in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find out. Carolina Amin or something with an A. 
Oh, wow, mm-hmm. look how big this crystal is. This is crazy. Mm-hmm. Peter ran around. It was crazy because we did this wonderful spiritual retreat in Ojai, California, and he, Peter ran around with these giant crystals. Anyway, well, let's look at this crystal, okay? Okay, look at this crystal. Okay, I want you guys to imagine this crystal, and it, it looks just like this, and I'm connecting it with this high crystal up in, uh, up in high heaven. And so, and do we have a picture of just Peter? Can you go to him? I am trying to find Peter in the gallery. Peter Lopez. I'm right here. I'm right here. I unmuted myself. Can you hear me? Yep. There, I can. <clears throat> okay. So hey, I have it down so you can't really see me, but this was oh. the one in the middle in Ojai. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, I want you guys to imagine this crystal, but I want you to go up to this high heaven. Now, I'm standing in this high heaven. Okay. So all you got to do is imagine where am I? Okay, and so and you you'll empath me. I'm very easy to empath. Uh, there we go. And now you feel a little light all the way to your feet, a little tingly. And now I want you to just say, God, please give me the the gift of the purple crystal. God, please give me the spiritual gift of the purple crystal. Okay. And there we go. And I want you to imagine this big purple crystal, and I want you to pull it down. To your physical body and imagine yourself inside it okay and it looks just like this uh this one peter peter has in front of him how big is that crystal peter this is huge it's, uh, it's about 14 16 inches tall it's about 35 pounds wow okay imagine this, your... this was the one in the middle there when we were in Ohio. Yeah, this thing had so much magic. It was really crazy. And so so I want you guys to imagine this big, giant purple crystal coming down from this high heaven. And I want you to imagine yourself inside of it. Just imagine yourself inside of the crystal and being able to look out. And, and as you look out from the crystal, you're going to be able to see any dark energies that are around you. And I want you to ask for the gift of a purple sword just say god give me the gift please of a purple sword and so and you can reach and grab it as you reach and get this purple sword got it and now you're inside the purple crystal i want you to clear around and around and around your body inside your body notice how your sinuses open to everybody feel how you got light your face got warm feel that and i want you to clear all around you this will give you a protection of of this amazing light energy from this high heaven and so and there we go and there we go you'll notice your hands are warming up as you clear yourself there we go as you clear yourself i'm clearing you too there we go there we go perfect and now uh, you f- crazy feeling, right? And so, Peter, can you feel the light coming off your crystal there? You, you can feel it. I just feel the light. I just feel a really high vibe in my whole being here. Yeah, it's like really hot, really hot. That's so cool. There we go. And so, you guys are going. You guys are going to find that this will really, really work for you. And this is something you can continue to do. All you have to do is just imagine yourself really high. Step inside the purple crystal. Make sure you pull it down over your body. Use the purple sword and clear and clear yourself and clear everything around you. And so this brings in a certain light also that keeps. It's really good. The, the purple is a very high God color and a really big healing color. So this brings in a lot of healing. So as you have people that are sick with COVID, I want you to think of those people right now or sick with anything and take your hands, put your hands out. And I want you to just project lots of healing energy to those guys. There we are. There we are. As I projected light to the to to all my friends that are who are sick with COVID, I even I see Michael on here. Michael, how you feeling? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> you know, there's go to Michael Grossman real quick, Doctor Michael Grossman. He he kept me healed up, and now he's he's got COVID. And so, can you go to him, Dino? Yep. All right, Doctor Grossman, unmute yourself. Yeah. I'm here. There we go. How you feeling, buddy? Well, I think a little bit better. I did a little IV because I, I was getting a little dehydrated. So I feel a little bit better. 
Good, 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 good. Well, I'm just projecting lots of healing energy to you, and I'm sure everybody else is. And so <clears throat> as we heal you and project healing to you, then I project heal, healing to everybody else who's got anything going on. Can and you have the yeah, and I see. Actually, I see uh, beams when I when I look at Michael. I see these beams coming out of his head and out of his chest. And um, these are God matrixes. These these new things. There's a lot of new spiritual gifts. God matrixes. This is is something that comes down now. And this isn't. This is not anything I decided on. Um, and so it's just what happens when your vibration goes high enough. These God matrixes show up, and you guys will just feel full of light. And so I see that happening. And as Michael gets healed, you get healed. As Michael gets healed, uh, you'll find everybody that, that, you, that you have in your world that needs something, they're going to get something. And so that's really, really important. Project light, project love to everybody you know that needs some. There we go. And now I see you guys floating above the planet Earth, going very, very high. And I see this God matrix going around not only you, but around the whole Earth. So everything we're doing has to do with like kind of a big, big earth healing, which is, which is great, you know, which is really, really good. Perfect. There we go. Michael, I love you. Get better. Oh, thank you. Thank okay. You. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. And so that's just not right when your doctor has something going on. I mean, Michael worked so hard to help heal me up. He called me every single day since I, I was sick and that when I, when he was able to to get out of the, when I got out of the hospital and he, he walked me through the worst thing was getting off some of the medications you, that I was on. And so, so, but he helped with every single, every single thing. So I project all the healing and love and light I possibly can. And so Michelle, let's talk to people who we got. Let's talk to some people. And so. Michelle, sorry, I was, right? I was muted. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. You can start I was talking. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. Well, can we get Kelly Rogers on real quick? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, Kelly. I hope you're feeling better. And Kelly, you're, you're, you were sick, right? Yeah. Since uh, last week, um, my partner and I both are, have been down with COVID and he's in the hospital and he's been there almost a week. So um, just being on this call makes me feel so much better. I can't tell you. I just, uh, the light yeah. matters. I mean, the light matters. It really does. You know, when yes. you get light in you, oh my God, it matters. It matters so much. And so, so when I, when I look at you, um, you know, you know, I see you looking bright. I see a, a rainbow kind of aura around your head. Um, and I see a little bit of darkness in your lower back. I'm pulling that out. And I see a little bit of darkness on one side. And I pulled that away from you. And and so, and now I see you beaming. And I felt you go warm. And so there we go. And so you can feel Is that. there anything that we can do to send to my partner who's in the hospital? Yes. Because we know what that's like. That's awful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it can be really rough. And so, so can you say his first name? Dave. Okay. When I look at Dave, um, his head is black. His throat is black. His chest is black and his legs are black. So he has a lot of darkness. Okay. Um, and so, and I just cracked all that off. Okay. And so as I cracked it off of him, notice how you got warmer. Yes. You feel, I'm you feel, tingling. I'm yeah. my whole body's tingling. Yeah. And so, and you're, you're just empathing what I did to him. Okay. okay. And so, and now I'm pulling out of his lungs, what looks to be black sludge. It looks like black tar. And so I'm just explaining to you guys what this looks like. And so, and I'm just pulling that out and I'm using a, I'm using a, a gift to burn this off of him. And so as I burn that off of him, uh, you'll notice your lungs got a little warm inside and you start uh -huh. to cough, but you feel, yeah. you feel warm inside. Mm -hmm. and so, very you know, warm, very warm. Now your head opened up. You're, you can breathe. Yeah. You can I breathe. can feel it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so he can breathe, and so you're just empathing what I'm doing to him, and so right. as, as as I as I clear him, um, that clears you, which means you know that's how it works. We're all one, and we're all connected, and so. But I see him now like brilliantly light. I see all this bright light going into him, um, and now then I'm asking for the angels to help. So can can you ask God and the angels to help him? Yes. God and angels, please help Dave. 
Okay, and so there we are. And so I see his big giant angel, higher self, slip into his body. Now you notice your body got really warm. You see? I'm lightheaded. I'm very lightheaded. Right. And so you guys, as you've got your loved ones that are, are going through sickness, you want to ask God and your angels to bring in their big giant angel and just allow that to slip into their body. And so that's what we did with him. Okay. okay yes, then, I see it. I see it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And I see that's that. And so I see anytime God's through doing what he's doing, you'll see him do this thing. Smack, 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 you know? And so I saw smack, smack. So Kelly, good luck to you and your partner. Thank right? you. Love you. Hey, love you back. And so, but, but yeah, I felt really good there. That yeah. felt really good. You got teary, right, Michelle? Yeah. Yeah. And so you'll notice you guys, you'll tear up. And so when you, when you tear up, that's healing energy. Anytime you tear up, it's normal. That's what you do. You cry, uh, you'll find, you find this little teary energy and the teary energy is what happens when people get healed. And so that's what happens. Who are we talking to? Terry, you're awesome. Can we get Natasha Brown on Natasha's iPhone? Natasha's yeah. iPhone. Okay. Natasha's <laughs> iPhone. Unmute yourself. Hi, Natasha. Hello. Hey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, girl. And so hey, what's going me? on? What's well, happening? I just, what's your question? I first wanted to say I'm just really happy that you're okay. Thank you. I'm We're great. Really... I'm, I'm better than okay. I'm doing great. Thank you. Good. We've all been rooting for you. So. Hey, thank you. I appreciate all the rooting for me. You know, I could see everybody's face. It was really crazy. I, I was in the hospital. I couldn't even walk. Um, couldn't talk. And... I would see your faces come to me like, you know, one after the other, Hey buddy. And so I would see your faces show up. And so I'm like, wow, wow. They're sending me light. Hey there. Hey there. Hi. Can say hi. hi. <laughs> hey guys. Hey, look at you. Y'all little rock stars. Look at you. And so, so we need some healing energy here. Um, okay. My father-in-law passed away five days after his uh, booster shot couple months ago and it's just things have just been hard um so i just want to make sure that he made it uh to the mm -hmm. other side and if there's any healing. he's on the yeah i see him on the other side he's doing quite well he's dancing he was kind of silly right good yes yeah because yes. i see him just doing his little doing a little dance you know doing a little jig and and he says uh um tell her i went to heaven he's just making jokes you know you know, I figured he would, but it was just so rushed. Everything that I just wanted to make sure he wasn't still. But he he's just saying he he's making jokes. He made it to heaven, you know. Believe it or not. Oh, and of so, course he did. He was a good guy. He's laughing, but he he loves you very much. Uh, he come to you a couple of times already, uh, and he tells me to tell you that was really him. Did you see him or feel him in your room or something? What did you do? You um, know? I've had a few dreams with him, and and I oh, had a yeah. dream of um. Well, what's kind of live in here? Yeah, that was her best buddy, so it's been a little challenging. Aww. Yeah, I see him all around her. You know, Good. he's holding up a little thing of hers. I don't know if it's a little doll or something or or stuff. What's what's the? He's holding up something of hers. You know, I'm they were sure. bonded. They were best buddies. So whatever he would play with and talk through. Hello, you know, he's yeah. doing he's doing that thing. I love it. Yeah, Good. and so, yeah, and so, does that make any sense? Does she have a little thing that he would play with? He would, it's almost well, like a puppet, puppeteer thing. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I mean, they used to. I well, they kind of did a lot of on Facetime. You know, once COVID hit and stuff. Um, okay. All right. But he's good. Yeah. So, but is there just if you could clear my energy and the kids and yeah, the easy husband. to do, easy to do. I did it that fast, and if you notice, you're starting to warm up, you're starting to shine. You know, I see you sweating a little bit, you know, and, and so these days there's so much light. We're used to, I would have to go clear, 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 right? Now I can go blink, clear. In other words, like you, I can really clear things that fast and so can you. So it's much faster. Sometimes you'll think you're not doing it right because it's so fast. No, so, I think that's very true. Yeah, so the bead is true. yeah, the bead is faster. That's the reason I see you sweating. I see you getting warm. Feel how you're getting warm? You know? I am getting warm. <laughs> yeah. So yes. hi. 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 Wow. Is that for me? Thank you. Coin. <laughs> cool. Awesome. And, so, and the kids oh, look good. They look great. I already did it. 
anyway, so there you go. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Lots of love. Thank you so much. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Take care, Thanks. Natasha. Thank you. Uh, Always good to see her. <laughs> Beautiful. Good. And her kids. <laughs> Yeah. And so, so anyway, and, and we don't have to do the whole show just on COVID because everybody's kind of COVID out, you know, I think, but I think healing is important. Uh, and I, and I, and I want you guys to just be able to use your gifts to help heal yourself and heal other people. Let me talk to Nancy. Can I talk to Nancy? I like Nancy. Yeah. Is that okay, Nancy? Can I talk um, to you? It's she's just Nancy. It's a Nancy with no last name and it's a That's Nancy it. Smith. No Nancy, last name. Nancy, Nancy with no last name. All right. <laughs> hey Nancy, how are you? Hi Gary. I'm how you doing? Hanging in there. <laughs> good, good, good. I just, you know, I feel so much love from you. It's like just overwhelming, you know. <laughs> and, and so sometimes I just look at people and I feel all this love and feel all this light, you know. So you are just like a vehicle of that. Do you know it? Do you know that's who you are? No, but thank you. <laughs> oh, you're sweet. I try, just, I try. <laughs> you don't even have to try. You just show up at the party and you got it with you, you know? And, and so, you, you, you know, a lot of times people these days have very special spiritual gifts of healing. And these gifts of healing are kicking in. And the reason is, is because a lot of you guys, and I think a lot of you guys that, you know, feel naturally sort of attuned to what I do, you know, and I think a lot of you guys come from this place, this high heaven that God opened up to me. So I didn't die and stay dead. Right. And so, and, and so this high heaven is called Zion heaven. And so the reason I went to you is because you are from that space. That is like, like some people, you know, we come from heaven, we come to earth, we do, we're basically down here is like doing jury duty, you know, I think a little bit, you know, but we're trying to make it, leave it a little brighter and we found it. And, and so, but a lot of you guys are from this high heaven. You really, really are. And so that's a reason you're attracted so much to light and you find it very normal to get spiritual gifts. And so, so, so I'm, I'm going into things I've never went into before because I didn't know it. You know, I only know what I know. I'm not going to tell you anything I don't know, but I'm going to tell you things I do know. And so you come from this Zion heaven. And so, and, and so now then I opened up all the dimensions between here and there. And when I did that, you feel pretty light right now. Feel that feeling? I do. Yes. <laughs> okay. So you're going to, you're going to see a lot of visitations from angels and you're going to see things happening. Uh, you may see some of your loved ones from the other side. Cause I see all these big beings gathering around you. And so it's going to be, you're going to have an interesting day or two, <laughs> you may, know, may I ask a question? Yeah. Um, I, I was, uh, probably in, in about the past year, a lot of things opened up for me. Um, I, I was a plant spirit medicine shaman for several years and treating people dimensionally. And, and all of a sudden everything stopped. I had learned, I learned how to channel not by studying it just one day in one of my meetings, these words just started coming out of my mouth. I couldn't help laughing. I told them, this isn't me. <laughs> well, but it is. Everything has stopped as of December 5th, I believe. That's it's my birthday. Not... Oh, well, bless you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Maybe I passed them on to you. <laughs> no, no. Well, here's the thing. You'll find all your, your the reasons because you were changing gears. And, and so a lot of people that were really spiritually gifted, um, you know, my buddy Andy, I think I seen him on earlier and he, and he had just, he said, I can't see anything. I can't do this. You know, he's like, you know, and he's always been able to see so clear. It's crazy. Right. Oh, well, um, I'm on Andy's so, book then. <laughs> yeah. Which he, well, all you got to do is, is see what happens is, is go up to these, these higher heavens that I opened you, opened you up in right then. Mm -hmm. And you're going to find that everything will click back in. In just this crazy way and i see you getting uh you've actually got five crowns and five heavens and so Ooh. those just came to you you're going to get pretty warm here in a minute and, i'm, I'm and boiling so, <laughs> right now right yes yeah okay it feels so good because i'm in a cold area <laughs> oh okay and so so well you where are you where are you from kansas i'm in kansas oh, okay well you're gonna you're gonna be you see you got really hot i see you turning red and yeah. and so but you got you actually got crowned in five heavens there's five new heavens that opened up and so you got crowned in all five that quick oh my. okay yeah and and 30 percent of people watching right now got those same crowns 
Oh, so, yay. Or, or, or some variation of. And so, and so that's what happens. These are very impathable gifts. And so as you get a gift, other people will get a gift. Oh, you, sweet. You know, as you meet people, you have your gifts. They will get the gifts. And so, so oh, it's wow. very impathable. In other words, this is like it's more contagious than COVID, you know, but it's in a good way. And so, <laughs> but, but boy, you're making me tear up. You know, because there's so much healing energy coming off of you. And the reason is because you're part of this, this thing. And so you'll notice that all your gifts and then some will come back to you now. And okay? it's also because I love you so much. Hey, well, I love you back. I love you back. It feels good. It feels Thank good. You, and everybody, and everybody loves you back, you know? And so <laughs> now then when everybody loved you back, 75% of people just got gifts. Oh, sweet. So, so you guys, you see how it works. All you got to do is love somebody. That's all you got to do. Just love somebody. She's easy to love anyway. But I saw you glowing. I could, I could see you glowing and, and I kept on watching you glow. And I'm like, wow, she's glowing. Why is she glowing so much? But see, that's the reason why. And so, Hey, good luck to you. Let me know how you are feeling. Let me know. Let me know next week what you have going on, you know, because okay. you're going to have a lot of stuff. That's really, okay. really crazy. I feel all this healing energy just flying off you. It's really, it's really crazy. It's making me tear up. Anyway, so, hey, thanks for that, okay? Okay, thank you very much. Hey, thank you. That was crazy. Oh, that was I crazy. feel it, too. She's so did you, lovely. Did you feel that? It was crazy, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a big heart. Like, I'm all yeah. warm and tingly. Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> yeah, there thanks we go. Thanks for picking her, and, too. And, and as, as we all evolve, we all evolve. You know, it, it works like that. Who we got? Who we talking to? Thank you. Well, let's go to our friend, Lindsay Sivanaylor in Minnesota. <laughs> she looks like she's in the car. What is it? On she the lives show? in the car. Lindsay, it, it says Lindsay, do you live in a car? It's okay. I don't see Lindsay Cybernator, Michelle. I just see Lindsay. <laughs> Lindsay, C it says C Ben. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course, that's all right. Waving, okay. yeah. All right, all right, all right, Lindsay. Unmute yourself. I, live, I don't live in a car. But, You're always in the car. Girl. You're always in the car. You're like always in the car. <laughs> It's the yeah. only place I get privacy. <laughs> oh, well, that's it. Well, there we go. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So, what's your what's your question, my girl? Um, so, um, you got two crowns. Friend, you got two crowns from Nancy. Thanks. She was great. I just saw her, and she was just so sweet. Yeah, you I could like feel her. it, right? Yeah, you Absolutely. got. You know what? You you got a red crown from the red heaven. Okay. Uh, and so, when you this red heaven. Uh, is, yeah. is, it looks like a red crystal heaven, um, and and this red dimension is a dimension that trans. It's, it's a heaven that transcends dimensions, so it will bring things out of your manifesting dimension into your physical life. Ooh. So, so this is a very important crown. So, I don't know if awesome. you've been manif manifesting any stuff. You know, but yeah. as you, you have, okay. Well, as you manifest soulmates, money, you know, another car or two oh, to yeah. live in, you know, whatever, you, <laughs> whatever, you're doing, yeah. you know, it's Damn. like, yeah, like whatever, whatever you got going, you, as you manifest things, um, this red heaven is very important because it transcends dimensions. That's what it does. <laughs> And, and so, and this, uh, you've never heard me say this before in no, on any workshop or, or any retreat or anything, because I never was, I never had access to this heaven. And so, but this one will bring it to you like snap. And so you got that from her. And then you got, um, you got a white crown that looks like white diamonds. And so this crown is a high God crown. This is the white diamond crown. This crown brings in white light. And as I talk about this, your head got hot inside. Feel that? Yeah, and I got kind of dizzy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that turned around all your dimensions that are not going in a God direction. Oh, perfect. Yeah, and 40%, 40 of the gallery just got this. 40%. Awesome. You guys, 40% 40, 40 just got this as I'm talking to you. So see how it goes on a roll? That's what happens. And so these spiritual gifts actually go on to a roll and they'll start rolling through everybody. And so, and as that happens, you guys are going to, going to just feel it. You're going to go, wow, I felt that. And when you feel that little slight sensation, that little bit of warmth, I mean, that's all it takes. And then you got it. And then you'll find all kinds of crazy things happen to you in a super positive direction. So anyway, thank you for that, Lindsay. But you had a question. What's your question, honey? Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, Recently, I have a friend that 
passed away. Actually, my current man friend, um, Jake and I, we actually grew up down the street from this girl. And she passed away from liver failure due to alcohol. <clears throat> and I just wanted to check in on her because, I mean, it was just a tragic, tragic passing. Hey, what, what, I, what I see, I see her beside the bed. So she did not go to the light. Okay. I don't think, you know, and so she went up and came back and went up and came back. And when, did you try to send her to the light? I I didn't yet. I didn't know that. I mean, I felt like people have prayed her up, but I felt I needed I to see. check on her. Well, I see her beside the bed and she kind of, whoever was praying her up, they prayed her up, but they didn't pray her high enough up, you know. And so, so, <laughs> so she's, she's actually beside the bed. Call her name. Katie. Mm -hmm. Kate. Well, she's looking around all freaked out. Tell her to take the, look up and take the angel's hand. Katie, take the angel's hand, honey. Do it now. Do it now. Go ahead and do it. I got you, Katie. Go ahead and do it. Oh, she did it. Okay, there we go. And there she went. You got hot. See? There. I did. Yeah, got really oh, hot. I love her. She was yeah. such a good friend. Well, you did her. You did her a huge favor. Okay, because she yeah. was earth. She was earthbound. Because she basically, love I think, she drunk herself to death. You know? Yes, and she so, did. Yeah, and, it was a private thing for years. I had no idea. And um, Jake ended up telling me about it. And he's like, yeah, it's been a problem for a long time. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, nobody knew. Yeah. Well, she's good now. And so it takes just a few minutes to get to heaven. It should be all right. Okay? Oh, awesome. <laughs> good. Good luck to you. I love you. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. She is always in the car. You're always in the car. That's all right. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I love how and she's it's... always so happy, though, and so sweet. <laughs> Isn't she? No. Yeah. It's amazing. It's just really <laughs> it's good. Yeah, a lot of people got gifts through her. See how it's rolling? Interesting, yeah. right? See, yeah. that's a way, that's the way these new gifts work. They just kind of roll. You know, it's 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 crazy the way it works. Who are we talking to? Thanks, Gary. Can we get Kay Washington on there, please? Okay, Kay Washington. Unmute mm -hmm. yourself. Thank you. Hi, Kay. Hi, Gary. Hey, my girl. How are you? What's your question? Um, I would just like to ask for some healing for my mom. Um, November 16th, she had a stroke. And at the same time, my brother was diagnosed with um, schizophrenia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That wasn't a surprise to you, though. Right? No, I guess it wasn't. Yeah. And so, it's yeah. been a rough couple of months. Yeah, I'm just clearing this off. And there we go. Perfect. And tell me, um, in what part of the country are you from? Um, Wisconsin. Oh, okay. I'm just clearing the dark energy off of you. And so, in there, and now with your mom... Um, did they just recently change your medication? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay. It looks like they did, and I think that's a very positive thing. Okay. And I see some perf I see some good results from that. Okay. And so that that would be what I think. And so, but I just cleared a bunch of dark energy off of one side of her body, which you know she had the stroke. Um, and so, and then, but she looks she looks really bright now. So she's beaming. And I got rid of some demons. Um, even though your brother, that's your brother, you said, who was diagnosed yeah. with schizophrenia. I, I think he just had some crazy demons. You know, a lot of times people who are schizophrenic, wink wink, they're just possessed, wink wink. Okay. And so they just have demons. And so I got rid of about 200 crazy demons on him. And you got really hot when I did that. Feel that? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I, you start to... What's that? I knew that. Yeah. You knew he's possessed with demons. Yeah. Yep. And that's the reason when I said it, I said, you understand. This is no surprise to you. But he was okay. just possessed. He had a lot of demons and I just cleared them. I got rid of about 200 crazy demons. That's the reason I see you starting to sweat. You got hot. Yeah. <laughs> you My know. Ears be hot right now yeah and, well the your the reason your ears get hot is because you actually have the gift of clara audience you know see anytime your ears get warm and believe it or not i really do have ears and so and and so but your your ears get hot because you're hearing your angels and so i see you here able to hear your angels and you have a lot of you know are you are you native are you are you is there any indian in you 
Yeah, yeah. I, uh, we actually went to a couple of your uh, retreats in Minnesota, and you met my mom maybe 15 years ago. You had her heal you with her hands. Wow. Yeah. Well, she must be real special, you know. And so, because I can, I can see the glow coming off of her, and uh, and so that's that's really special. And so, and so, but are you, are you native? Are you Native American? Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, because, it, it, you know, Native American people have this kind of weird thing where you guys are just part of the club, whether you like it or not, you know, and so you, you're, you're just, you know, you, you're made different genetically you're made different a lot of times um and you you guys are just really naturally spiritually gifted so that's the reason your ears are hot that's the reason your mom has the gift of touch healing healing hands um you know and so and so it's just who you are and so as i see it you see i didn't understand all this earlier but these new heavens that have opened up a, a lot of us healer people are really really um in that club in other words, we come from this high heaven place. And so as I see it, you come from this high heaven place and your bunch does. And so that's the reason even with your brother, he's possessed. Uh, the, you know, the good news is he's a bright light. The bad news is he's a bright light. And so what happens is a lot of times people are such bright lights, they're just like a beacon for demons. And so, and so I think he, he has been. Now he's going to act better next time you, you kind of get in touch with him. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And so he yeah. looks better. Yeah. Thank you very much, Gary. I love you. Love you back. I love you back. You're special. You're really special. That's really good. I got high from her. Yeah. Do you feel that? Hey, yeah. and you know what she got? She got a she got the green crown. Um, oh. And so she got the gift of the green crown. The green crown is a healing crown. Uh, the green energy heals. That's what the green energy does. And so, so I just see this green crown uh, that went to her, which is so cool. And so there we go. And now about, you know, about 75% of the gallery got that, got that gift. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So a lot of people got that. If you, if you guys think about just getting a green crown and it's a crazy green cr color, um, it's almost the color of Kelly Rogers set behind her. It's like this really bright green or the color of the, the green little thing around me, you know, but it's like this neon green almost. And this crown is, it's a very, very special healing crown. And if you guys ask for it, there you go. I heard everybody got it. There we are. So that's good. So now the vibration is high enough to where people are, everybody's just kind of getting these gifts, which is good. So this green healing crown will give you the ability to take your hands and project healing energy to the people you need need to heal and so or yourself and so it works like that neat 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 I mean, wow judy i see you getting all these crowns that's cool i feel that can you feel them can you see them can you feel them right what you got going Ms. i could judy? yes hi <laughs> hi yes i, love you. I could i could feel them um just like one on top of the other on top of the other and the the green you're talking about was this iridescent lime you could see it it was like so bright right yeah yeah uh -huh. yeah. yeah thank yeah. you and, for and those. i see it i see it beaming out of you i see it just beaming from you and so yeah. that's beautiful yeah that's awesome it, the, and see these spiritual gifts are really going to make a difference in your world guys and so and maybe i just felt so like i needed to share as much as i could share with you you know tonight with with some of these new gifts because they're important and right now, I mean, we all need need a lot of healing. And so, who are we talking to, Michelle? Thank you, Gary. Can we get Sue M on there, please? Yeah. Thank uh, you. Okay, Sue M, unmute yourself. There you go. Hi, Gary. Hi. I can, how are you? I'm, I'm good. I'm glad you're feeling better, and I'm glad you're back. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to be back, and I'm really glad I'm feeling better, too. <laughs> Thank you guys for praying for me and sending light to me. It worked. It worked. I have a question. Back in July, my friend's son passed away unexpectedly. Right. He was out with his brother. He had gone home, went to bed, and the little girl upstairs from where he lives went down and found him dead. Nothing in his autopsy, nothing from blood work, 
can you tell me if he's on the other side and possibly what happened? Yeah. How old was he? Around. 26. 26. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, well, even though they didn't catch it in the autopsy, he actually had an aneurysm. Okay. And so, which is good to know. And, and so, because it, uh, you know, I had one of these last week, if I remember on the show, but an aneurysm, uh, it runs hereditary, not to his children, but to his siblings. So okay. it runs, it runs sideways, you know, so he needs to have all, all of his, little, all of his, does he have brothers and sisters? Two brothers. Okay. They should get checked. Okay. Okay. And so, but I, I see he had a, he had an aneurysm and, and so, um, and it feels like it was an aorta aneurysm. So I can't imagine why they didn't catch that because he would, he would bleed out in his chest somewhat, you know, mm -hmm. but I, I'm seeing what I see. And so that's what I see. And so, but he had that and he also had, well, maybe let me, let me go on. Uh, he had another heart thing too, uh, that, that he was born with. And I don't think it was ever detected maybe. Okay. And so, so he had a couple of different heart issues that were go that was going plus he had an aneurysm you know but the reason they didn't catch the bleed out because it didn't bleed out i see it there and but it didn't it, it was that's not what killed him it was a it was a heart issue okay interesting and so and and so but that's that's what i see okay all right and so, yeah and so so that's what it is but i see him on the other side and um he was crazy he was like fun you know, yes, <laughs> right. So he's a real fun Very guy. Much. Yeah. So he's going, woo -hoo, woo -hoo, you know, so he's jumping up and down and letting you know, it's really him. That would make sense to you. Right. Oh, totally. Yeah. And that, so, that was Andrew. Yeah. He loves you. And he says, thank you. He says, can you let them all know that I'm good? He, he goes, even though, oh yeah, I'm dead. He's laughing, but he says, I'm good. And so he just wants everybody to know he's good. Okay. Well, thank and so you, where, man. where's his mother? Right now she's out in Minnesota, but she lives in Florida. Okay. And he especially wants to let her know, right, that he's good. Okay. And so he's with an older man. I don't know if that's the grandfather or great-grandfather, but whoever, whoever I'm seeing, you know, but he's with an older man. I'm going to think his grandfather. Yeah. And so, but he, he says that he's good. He keeps on saying, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You know? <laughs> and then I see wheels going everywhere. I don't know skateboards or things or stuff, but I just see all these wheels everywhere. You know? He traveled all the time. All right. So every, he's a big, he's a big rolly person. <laughs> anyway, yeah. anyway, he loves you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, Gary. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank who else, you. who else we got guys? Who we got? Oh. Let's go to uh, MacBook Pro's iPhone. I think that's Janet Swinney. Is that Janet? <laughs> MacBook Pro's iPhone. Got it. Yeah. All right, MacBook Pro. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's right. Uh, I don't know, Gary. I don't know, Michelle. They're not unmuting themselves. So. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Oh, I don't see uh, the camera. Oh, my gosh. I, I don't know how to use my phone even. No. Oh, is this Janet? Yes, it's Janet. Hey, what's your question, uh, honey? Um, I'm gonna be getting um a knee replacement next month, and it's about my job. Am I gonna? It's, it's just I'm so I'm so worried to tell my job this, but I need this replacement on my knee because of arthritis, and I'll be out for three months. I just don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, I I need to do this surgery. But yeah. Well, here's what I here's what I hear. Okay, just do it. Just do it. <laughs> just do it. Tell yourself you deserve it and do it. Tell yourself you need it and do it. And so, and I see you just getting right through it. That's what I feel. I cleared away a little dark energy. Um, do you tell, do you have a family member, a mother, a sister, or somebody like that that you tell everything to? My son, I tell him everything. He, my, he, my youngest son. Okay. Who else do you tell everything to? Uh, my my other my grand my son my Max's dad Joshua. Mm hmm. Him. Okay. And and so it, it feels like that you got to quit telling that person everything. Okay. Because they're projecting worry to you. 
Does that make any sense? It does, but they all want me to do the surgery. I'm just, I'm the one that's scared because I don't want to yeah. like. I, I hear you, but they, they, somehow you worry them <laughs> and you're, you're projecting worry is what I see. I don't want to worry no more. I'm so tired. Yeah, I know. I'm so bad. I still do it so much. Yeah. Well, I just cleared all that worry off. And so, so, um, but you know, sometimes you don't tell everybody everything. And so no. as, you, as you tell them everything, you'll find you worry them. And so I just cleared all, all the worry demons away. And so see how you got light all over. You feel light. I, do. I, feel, I feel better. Good. Good. You'll be fine. Go do it. Okay. Thank, thank you. I'm glad you're back, Gary. We missed. Thank you. you. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> anyway, bye, bye you. Gary. Love you. Yeah. Take. Hey, you too. You like know, you too. <laughs> there we go. You know, a lot of times, you know, when you worry yourself up to something, you know, you just worry, worry, worry. Right? You mojo everything. So that's a hex. You know, you don't have to have Madame Voodoo put the spell on you. You can actually, you know, mojo yourself quite well. And you do that with worry. And you also do it if you talk to other people who worry. And so you got to be a little careful of all the worry stuff. And so especially these days, because the energies are so exaggerated, they're very exaggerated. And so you don't want to you don't want to hex yourself. Who we got? Thanks, Gary. OK, let's go to Michaela DeFalco. Michaela, I hope I said that right. Or is it Michaela? <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Hi, Michaela. Oh, yeah. How are you? Okay. I'm good. Hey. How are you guys? Good. You're, such a, you're such a bright energy. I love you. What's oh, your question? Thank you. Um, So I have COVID right now. And so I was wondering if you could clear me from that. And then also um, the older guy that I've been dating like the past few months, I just want to know like if he's my soulmate and like good for me in a sense. Cause well, he, he's a, you know, he's he's great oh okay actually oh. you know so i think he's great he he feels like you're you know how you feel when you i don't know if you do or not but you know i've, I've lived in hotels my whole life and so yeah. when when i'm in a hotel i really don't have my pillow and when you get home you're always happy because you got your pillow yeah you know, your your comfortable pillow yeah he feels like he feels like a comfortable pillow okay he, he's got the energy of that you know in other words like he feels he feels like he's he's sort of made for you somehow, you yeah. know. So yeah. I like him. He's like very him. he's very like closed. That's my only thing with him. Like he's very closed. Well, he he was in a crazy relationship before you, and he wasn't allowed to be open. And so so, but I, as I see, once he realizes who you are more and more and more, I, I see you guys having a, a a a good time. And so and so, I like him. I really like him. He's very yeah. accommodating. He's very ca caring, and okay. and he does stuff. You know, like if you need something, he's there. And so yeah. I like I like that. You know, and so you always have idiots, right? Yeah, he, he we're like long distance right now, and he's he's kind of an idiot. Like he kind of he's older than me. I'm 23. He's like 30, but I feel like I have to teach him a lot. Like I feel well, like what I think what I think he, <laughs> I, I think he's all those things but I think that that gives you something to do and I think you really do care for him. Yeah. You know. And so that. so it feels like a real soul connection and I think all the other little things you'll work out but I feel like he's really going to be there for you. Huh. I like him. Oh, and and so so okay. I think I think you're going to find that this can really and see when I said I liked him I noticed your forehead started to shine and you <laughs> you got really warm. And yeah, you know yeah, I think you, you have a lot of doubt because of your ex-idiots. Yeah, so. they both have the same name, unfortunately, mm -hmm. back to back. But yeah, I the last boyfriend I had, like, he, I think he's like, uh, like, last time I asked you about it, like, bisexual, I still think, like, what you said, I still think he's bisexual. And then this one I met actually through a mutual friend of his. I'm sorry, I, out, I outed your boyfriend. Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's like I... I still like now because yeah, date we're, straight guys. You'll find yeah. it works out better. Well, for him you. and I are friendly now, but like every time I talk to him, I like try to be like, oh, like you know, are you dating anyone? Like anything, <laughs> anything new happening? But yeah, this new guy. We've been. <laughs> we've been <laughs> I'm sure he's like. <laughs> yeah, he's like, what are you talking about? Like we like no, and I was like, right, okay, let me know. But um, yeah, this new guy, he's just he lives far away, so that's kind of hard, and like. I think it, I think it, I think you get through those dilemmas. I really like him. And I think there's a okay. real true, I think there's a true soul connection with him and I see he likes women. So that's a good thing for you. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I need that. Yeah. 
<laughs> Great. It's all good. It's all good. Perfect. Anyway, Perfect. good luck, honey. I see a lot of light coming down to you, uh, especially you got, you got, you know, like a green crown, which is healing because okay. you, you mentioned you had COVID. Mm -hmm. um, and so imagine this, this green healing energy. And you also got a purple crown. The purple crown is a high God color. And so okay. this is, this is just going down through your body. There we are. There we are. And so, and I'm pulling this, it looks like black sludge out of you. And so there we go. Last week was way worse than this week, right? Yeah. Does um, that make yeah, last week I had, I just got home from like my birthday trip. And then literally the day I got back, I started getting sick and I was like, oh, great. <laughs> yeah. And so, but now I see, I just see a lot of light coming out of you. See how you feel much lighter? Yeah. Okay. You have yeah. to be careful. You have to be careful of dehydrating, you know, and, and so. Yeah. That's I drank a little too much last week. <laughs> uh, okay. Don't drink right now with the, don't drink with your, <laughs> yeah, your no, COVID no. thing, you know, but just drink a lot of water. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, because I see you you're having a problem with dehydrating. All right. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Good luck. Good Thank luck. You. Good luck. Thank you. There we go. Mm -hmm. I liked her. Yeah, she was so nice. That's good. Who we got? Thank you. Let's go to Lynn McCarris, which is I think Lynn's iPhone. Lynn's Lynn. iPhone. Got it. Yeah. All right, Lynn. Let me meet yourself. Hi, Lynn. <laughs> Lynn's an alien. Oh, there you are. Oh, <laughs> she's got background noise. <laughs> one minute. <laughs> one minute. I'm at a party. <laughs> no, I'm I'm having dinner with Jeannie. <laughs> oh, tell her oh, hi. That's good. Yeah. Hey, I wish I, I was there. What up? I will. I will. But um, I just want to. Well, first of all, before I say anything, Gary, I wanted to say thank you. Um, I had a session with you uh, not too long ago, and I was very ill, and because of COVID, and there was no doctors, and they were misdiagnosed me. You were right. They had misdiagnosed me, and they were sending me home and making me comfortable because there was nothing they can do for me. Oh. And you were right about everything. There oh, was thank nothing. You nothing wrong with me. I couldn't walk. I was crippled and I was in so much pain. And after I spoke to you, because Jeannie referred me over to you because I had nothing, I didn't know what else to do. They just sent me home and said, be comfortable. There's nothing we can do for you. And you were absolutely right. They misdiagnosed me. And after I spoke to you and you cleared me, you know, it's not that I'm not a believer, but what you did was something extraordinary because I felt so different and you helped me so much and you were right on spot. They misdiagnosed me and there was nothing wrong with me. Wow. And I did finally, I did finally go see the doctor um, that you said would probably uh, give me a different diagnosis, and he did and he said exactly what you said. There is nothing wrong with you. They misdiagnosed you and they're poisoning you by giving you all this medication. I got off the medication. And after that, I have been, I feel like a whole new person. You look fantastic. I wake up every morning and I love living. It, it's just, it, I just wanted to thank you. And that's basically, oh. I just wanted to thank you because wow. you gave me hope. And oh, that- and believe took me to getting well and i'm back in business and i was down for over a year and a half and my children had to come live with me to help me and feed me and dress me and everything and there's nothing wrong with me so wow. i take this moment and say thank you thank wow. you great part of this you're welcome and there's there's just so much gratefulness and well, the fact that um, that you were able to pinpoint everything was just amazing, just amazing. So I wanted to say thank you. Well, I'm and, so glad. I'm yeah. glad for you. I'm glad for you. You know, I'm glad. You know what I'm really glad of? And, you know, if you're if you're born spiritually gifted, like like I was a little kid born spiritually gifted. And so I just always share my gifts and I just thought it was normal to do that. 
and and I I think I even took it for granted, you know, sometimes because I would just do what I do. You know, I don't really think about it, and I think I maybe still do a bit. But but you know, when I when I hear people like you, that that tell me, you know, stories about you know things that occurred. Um, you know, I'm just happy that I could help, you know, because when, when I was sick, you know, um, uh, you know, and I had the worst case scenario COVID I, and I had all you guys sending me light and healing, I realized maybe for the first time how important spiritual gifts are, Absolutely. you know? And, and so I realized it because you guys use your spiritual gifts to heal me. And so I was like, oh my God. This is really something. I mean, when I was healing other people, it was normal. But when I was getting healed, it was like amazing. And so I'm getting healed from you. I feel this beautiful light coming from you. I have a tear. You see, anyway, it's it's like because but you you look you're looking fantastic. You look fantastic. And I see this beaming light coming out of you. Oops, you got muted somehow. There we are. And so, but I see you looking as you just, you just feel this, this uh, vibrant energy coming from you. And I'm so happy that you're better. And so. I am better. And now I'm just going to say a little something. I have been divorced for 17 years and I've never had time to date, go out, meet anyone. Cause I've been busy doing what I have to do. And that was raising my two kids that are now adults. And so now I feel as though it's time for me. I have this wonderful English that's coming over uh, in the, probably in the next three weeks to spend some time with me because I've known him for four years, but we're really, he's coming over to stay for a few months and we're getting to know each other to see if anything is going to happen. And I would just like to be cleared because I want to. Okay. Be All right. Well, here, let me, let me, let me, let me okay. Let me, okay. Just say, uh, uh, when I'm, let me look at you. Let me let me tell you how to manifest this. Oh, I want you to manifest a perfect time with this guy. I want you to say, God, please give me a perfect time with this guy. God, give me a perfect time with this guy. Okay, and there we go. Now you notice your feet got warm. See, your feet got warm. Your hands got warm. You got light all over. Feel all that going on? You see? Yeah. And the reason is because you have a soul connection. And so I see you having a soul connection on the highest level, which is really cool. Um, I see this person, he, he's evolved. He's like, he, finally, you're talking to somebody that you feel like he can actually hear what you're saying. Right? Yes, I adore yeah. him. Yeah, well, he adores you back. And so, and you're adorable. And so, but I see everything connecting. Uh, and I see him from this, again, these these everybody's kind of showing up and I've, I'm see, noticing a lot of Zion heaven people getting together and so and hooking up at, in, in a relationship and so I think he's from this uh, Zion heaven I think you're from this Zion heaven I opened up, up all those heavens for you right then easy to do and I opened up all of his easy to do there we go and so now then you feel really hot inside feel the difference and so freezing here and I'm nice and warm. <laughs> yeah, good. Well, I'm just seeing all this light going to you and I think you have a soul connection. Let me know how it goes. I'm glad you're healed. I'm glad I could help you. And thank you so much. Thank you. And oh. very thank Big kisses. You. It's Big so kisses. beautiful. Thank oh, you. That was sweet. Yeah, genie. <laughs> yeah, that was sweet. It, oh my God, like you, you made me tear. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh my God, I got zapped. I got really zapped yeah. there. Anyway, who we got? Who we talking to? Oh, scary. Okay, um, let's go to Alice Smith and Joe Dempsey, please. Yeah, I love them. <laughs> me too. Hey, Alice. And it's like I'm talking. You know, it feels like I'm talking to family. You know, you know, it's like everybody's yeah. like kind of family and what we're doing. You know, <laughs> and so. Right there, Alice. Hi, Gary. Oh, yes. Hey, guys. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Happy you're back. Yeah, good yes, job. I'm back. Love you. <laughs> We're jazzing. <laughs> oh, good. You guys are looking great. You guys are looking so good. And so, anyway, so so tell me what's going on with you. Ask me questions and things. Oh well, uh, I went to the doctor last week, and uh, my cancer's back. You remember uh, the the Terminator? Yeah. I'll be back. Oh, he's back. <laughs> So, mm -hmm. uh, so it's bad. And so, you know, it, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, just, you know, the planet. Here's what happens. There's a lot of darkness on the planet, and there's a lot of light on the planet as well. And so the darkness on the planet is, is playing tug of war with anything we got that is negative. Okay? And so I see that energy affecting you and so what i'm doing is i'm disconnecting that energy from the whole planet as it affects you and i remember the first time you came and and you you were in the seminar and we were talking and 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 they said you know you're diagnosed you know worst case scenario good luck and i said yeah that's not going to happen well it didn't right yeah. and so i see it again and I, it won't again you know, so it's the same thing. Uh, and so, and I'm burning, uh, when I look at you, I'm using a different gift and uh, I'm burning, uh, it looks like a fire, this is it, this is not a light gift, this is a fire gift. And I'm burning it out from the top of your head all the way down through your body. There we go. And there we go. And there we go. And there, and, and it just kind of went away, you know, and, and I'd see all this darkness fly off of you. Um, and so, and, and Alice, you got really, you felt that energy. It kind yeah, of made you like, dumb, it was like almost dozy doodle. You made you sleepy. Yeah. So, right. Yes. And so, and so, but I just see all this healing energy flying into him. Uh, I see all this light and I see about 200 angels going into you now. And so. <laughs> yeah, but you got tons of them, and and so and I see and I see this crown of this green healing energy, um, and I see this crown going around you, and it went around your head, but then it went around your whole entire body, and it looks like these green crystals, and they're just going through your body, and I see it just reflecting all the dark energies, and it comes, and I see it, you know, going out of your cells, you know, um, and there we are. And there we go, and there we are, and now they turn blue. The blue flame burns the hottest, and then they turn gold, and then they turned red, and then that brings it into this dimension. Uh, and then I seen a big angel slip into your body. And so, and that's what I saw, you know, and so I just see this big glowing angel. And now I saw a God matrix. A God matrix is, a, is an energy that looks like if you, you can imagine being on the beach and looking up at a sun shine that's in your face and it's got these really sharp beams everywhere and i see that inside of your physical body now okay and so and god matrix means it's god's will okay so and i want you to want to be better okay so just say uh, you know god i want to be better god i do want to be better so okay. I can be a little Alice. <laughs> there we are. All right, perfect. And so I want you to be better. And so you and I are one. And so all you got to do is be one with one person. You and Alice are one. So you're one with at least two people. You know, yeah. Michelle. You know, Dino. You know. But it's, it's like, so you're one with a whole bunch of people. And so, yeah. so, Me so, and and everybody. <laughs> yeah, Jamie, Fallon, those are great people to be one with. And so, so as you're one, all it takes is two to make one. And so you guys remember that when you're healing each other, it takes two to make one and there's power in oneness, right? And so, so what I see is I see all this light and healing going through your body. There we go. And see, now you got really super relaxed really quick. Feel it? Yeah. yeah. You're like, okay, I could take a nap now. So you guys are going to go just take a nap, <laughs> go to sleep. And so, but, but I see all this light going through you uh, and I see all the darkness being pushed away. And so I see, I see not only angels inside your body, I see angels pushing. It looks like a cloud of darkness around and I see them pushing this away. And so this is the, vi these are the visions I see in my head. Yeah. And so, so there you go. And, and you, you look great uh, and you're going to be great. That's what I feel. Well, I say, Thank you. I want to tell you how much I appreciate the last time because, you know, you, they, uh, three doctors said I'd be pushing daisies in the ear, you know, and so uh, it's going to be they, dead in less than yeah, a year, yeah, less yeah. than a year. So uh, you yeah. said, no, that ain't happening. That's not going to happen. Gonna happen. And you so, said it. So, yeah. So, uh, you know, yeah. we just, uh, this is round two, you know, it's a, it's a battle. Uh, how many you know, years, how many years ago was that? Yeah. Like three and a half, four yeah. years. 2019. Or, no, 2018. 2018. 2018. 2018. 2018. 2018. Okay. 2018. Yeah. Well, there we go. Well, we'll just have to kick the can down the road ways. Okay. Yeah. 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 Thank yeah. You, you will. No, I yeah. see. I I see this working out, and um, yeah. and uh, um, even maybe even maybe with a second diagnosis. So yeah. Yeah. look okay. and see. Okay. Thank you, Gary. Love you. I can't tell you how much appreciate it. Appreciate you guys.
You stay warm. I heard it's going to be cold there uh, this week. Yeah. yeah. No, I got. I got. I'm set. I got a fur coat and everything. I'm, I'm oh, look, yeah. I look like. I look like the Alice when she's dressed up. Oh, you know, yeah. with everything. <laughs> she's always dressed up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Miss Taylor. Thank, Thank you, Dean. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Alice and Joe. Love you. Love you too. Thank you. Oh, you know, gosh, we I got, love them so know, much. Yeah, and you know, we got to take care of each other. I mean, you know, it's it's really crazy. I, I, I think, you know, I, I went my whole life and I never really thought I would ever be sick because I was never sick. I was never sick, you know, so I didn't think you, I didn't think I'd ever get sick, right? If, you, if you're never sick, you don't think you are. You think you're invincible. And so and, and these days, if anything we're figuring out from, from COVID and all these other things and what's happening with, with our world, we realize, hey, yeah, you know, you, we can get sick. And so, so what you got to do is also you got to realize you can get healed. And so, and, and you realize healing is powerful. I mean, I'm seeing things, you know, I'm seeing things every day um, and, and people that I work with every day. I've never done so much healing. I guess that's what I'm supposed to be doing, you know, but I, I, I've You're never messing. done, I think, you know, because I've been doing so much healing with people and, and um, I, I know I make a difference because I see what happens and, and, and I'm so happy. And then I, I, I'm teaching other people how to make a difference and how they can heal themselves and heal other people. And so, so this is who we are as beings. We're all becoming bigger spiritual beings. And, and so this is, this is where we are these days. And so, so just be that and you'll find it works for you. Who we got, Michelle? Guess what? My nephew Storm is on here with Victoria. His girlfriend. So, can we please highlight them? Oh, <laughs> okay, Michelle. Uh, Storm. <laughs> okay, Storm, unmute Hi, yourself. Storm. There you Hi. go. Hi. Hey, guys, how are you? Good. Yeah, how are so you? Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you too. I mean, look where You're you are. Oh, my so God. So many things. Yeah, I love it. You know, I thought you were in some plush airplane somewhere. And it looked like <laughs> an airplane when I first glanced, you know, that's but, so but that's, your, that's your bed, right? Mm hmm. Oh, look at that. That's this really is our, our place in Reno. In Reno. Oh. oh, nice. Good to see you guys. Good to see you guys. What's your question? You must have some crazy fun question, right? Please don't bore me to death. I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, Gary, how are you doing? I'm good. I lived. Yeah? I lived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't see know. that. Yeah, no, I'm fine. Helping clear you so much. Yeah, well, every day you know, we would hear about how you were doing. Oh, uh, well, you know, you know, it's really crazy because you know, Storm, you know, you know, you have this amazing connection to God, and so you can see God as easy as you can see me right now, and and so and, and to be this human being, uh, and you're Michelle's nephew. And so, like, you know, all you guys are, are spiritual freaks. And so, but you, you just can see and, and, and do, you know, you, that's who you are. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and feel everything. And so, but, but as, I, as I see you, um, you know, uh, all these crowns that came down from this high heaven. So, so Storm, you can see. I want you to look at this, okay? Can you look, look where I'm looking. And so I'm up. Can you see the patio I'm on? It's like kind of a rock patio. And it's overlooking what looks to be like a Tuscany. You know, like you can see like a beautiful valley. See that? Okay. See yeah. where I'm at? Okay. Mm -hmm. And see, and now you, you see somebody pulling a chair out for you to sit at the table. Yes. Little table. That's God. Okay. Yeah. You see. And so, and, and God is, um, uh, it looks a little younger than you've seen him. And so this is God that lives in a physical existence and a spiritual, you uh, know, because my ears are really hot. <laughs> yeah. He goes, you should listen to me now. And he, he, it's funny, he called you boy. Listen to me, boy. <laughs> it's funny. So God's funny. scolding you. And so, and, and so he, he, he gave you a, a white crown, which is a high God crown. And he gave you a red crown, which will give you the ability to manifest anything you want. So there we are. Mm -hmm. Thank sports, you. Sports cars. <laughs> Money. <laughs> You know, yeah, nice trips. You, anyway, man. yeah, all, this, all, the, all the cool stuff. Yeah, well, I'm not Santa Claus, but God is, and so, so, but you can, you actually, actually have a, an incredible direct line, and so, but this is, this is where I got to sit for the last few months and learn about Zion Heaven. So he I heard, heard you it. talking about that. I've never heard that before. Nobody has. 
Yeah. Well, and so, well, well, I say that. Actually, a few people have because there, there's a little bit wrote about Zion. Not much, actually. But but Zion heaven is a heaven uh, that is where you can be physical and spiritual at the same time. And 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 so it's like Earth. So like a heaven on Earth. It's like heaven on earth, but it's not earth. It's Zion. And right. so, and so, so, but there's a little bit about Zion. There's Zionists who were the uh, Jewish people who left Berlin instead of getting killed. They went and they, you know, uh, they found this little place called Israel. And so, but I mean, they, 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 a lot of cool things. There's a little bit about Zion, you know, in, in some of the African music and in okay. spiritual music, they, they, there's like a, 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 a Zion where they recognize Zion. And so, but anyway, Zion, I learned a lot of stuff. And so you have uh, a, a key to Zion because of who you were born spiritually. So you should go there and figure out stuff every day and tell me what well, you figure out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Definitely. see? And so, and when, when you look, you'll see, see the beautiful gorge? There's like, now you're standing and you're a little kid. That's your child spirit. Mm -hmm. and see that and so yeah. and there's, and there's like a gorge and there's this beautiful light that's rolling in it looks like a fog see that i do actually and see you're holding hands with a man see that mm -hmm. that's god okay and so there you go how you feel my mind is at peace okay it was like 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 where like how you're describing is where where i'm feeling at it feels like neat we got red your ear your ear is red yeah no i'm <laughs> <laughs> my face is getting all rosy i'm sure it feels like it like i'm really warm okay ask for a spiritual gifts since you're there you got all five crowns okay and so there we are now you're warming up, right? Yeah. His feet are twitching. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm getting clammy. Ooh. Good. <laughs> there we are. All right. Thank you, Gary. And so, yeah, so those are those are great spiritual gifts, and you do have crazy abilities to manifest, you know. And I and and I see that those those are the ones that are going to come through first, you know, for you, you know. And and so, uh, just remember Uncle Gary and Uncle Dean and Auntie Michelle. <laughs> Okay. Of and course. Lottery. Lottery. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. But no, <laughs> but you have you have great spiritual gifts that'll bring you anything. And so you, so sometimes people get those. And so so but not not like you just did. And so and I remember, you know, you came to a retreat. I think you were nine years old or ten years old. And you came to a retreat in North oh, Carolina. Okay. And and you know, to him it was very normal just to talk to God like yakety yak. And so all it was funny because all the adults remember all the adults drove you crazy once they figured out you could yes. really see. Yes. You know? I, I remember uh, one of them came in and we didn't even know who he was. Like he wasn't even like invited, I remember, but he just came there and he, and then I'm just sitting there on the couch, just talking to him about him, about his life and like what I see personally. And yeah, it was really, it was really empowering. It was crazy. I didn't yeah, because even realize you're... what was going on. It was just, it felt, it felt normal. It was in the moment. Yeah, because you were God's mouthpiece, you know? And so once, once everybody really figured out, oh my God, this kid can actually talk to God himself. Right. Then everybody drove you totally crazy. It was great. They got <laughs> off my back for a while. And so it was perfect. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> no, I love you. Well, you're going to be fine. You're going to be thank fine. You. And so, but, you but let me, hey, thank you. Thank you, buddy. I, I love you. And, and yeah, I see yeah. that you're going to, you're going to manifest some crazy stuff. Okay. All positive things. All positive. Yeah. But I see you manifesting really, really great stuff. So, so ask for something big. So it's impressive. <laughs> okay thank you Good. hey and nice to meet you nice to meet yeah, you yeah nice to meet you too She's i beautiful. actually had a question for you of my own okay what is it i was just gonna ask you to see and to clear me and ask you how my dad was doing well I, it's easy to clear you i pulled a dark energy from around your head and around one leg and so and i see all this light going into you and your dad um is he on the other side he sure is. Yeah, he's um, he said his head is good now. 
So he's just wanting to tell you his head is good. What was wrong with his head? Um, he used to have a lot of headaches. Okay. All the time, no and, matter and, what medicine, you could just, never get rid of them. Oh, okay. He says it's all good. He loves you. Okay. And so he, he says, tell her I come to her as an angel. Then he says, mm -hmm. he, he says he tries to bring you light and happiness. You know, he said for you to tell your mom that he's not nuts now. <laughs> if that makes any sense. So, <laughs> does that make any sense? Um, you know? Yeah. They used to right. always butt heads. Oh, did they? Okay. Well, he's mm -hmm. saying he's saying he's not nuts now. So, so he's happy. He loves you. Again, he says he loves mm -hmm. you. There's two other people that he loves as well. Who is that? My two sisters. Okay. And so he's like, give them a hug for me, will you? Oh. So. And my stepmom, too. She's still mm -hmm. kicking. <laughs> he says she knows I love her. He does. Yeah. He, he's, he's really together. He's really together. I knew know. he would be. Yeah. 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 He's very, very happy. Um, and he's happy that uh, you met, that you guys met, you know. He can see his light, and so that's good. And so he's telling this me is this. my angel right here. <laughs> yeah, he is an angel. And so, but you, he says, don't be. Um, and he's telling me to tell you, don't be stubborn. <laughs> he says it runs in the family. Don't be stubborn. It does. Okay. He says, <laughs> tell her not to be like me. He's laughing, and so, but he, he's a sweetheart. Blows you big kisses. You know, mm. good. Good. And, yeah. And he loves him. He says, that's good. Perfect. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> good. Who good. don't? He did. Anyway. He met him before he passed away, but years and years ago, Storm, we were just best friends. So he never met him as, you know, the boyfriend. It was just. He says he knows. Friend. He says he knows more than you think. He's making jokes. <laughs> so he's. he's <laughs> He's all he about used to it. make jokes. He would always be like, oh, like, is that your boyfriend? And I'd be like, no, oh, just my friend. That's all good. Not anymore. You know, he was right. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Okay, good. Okay. Use your gifts. Yeah. Don't worry. Manifest us up some loot. Manifest his money. Buddy. <laughs> of course. He got, Wealth he, and health. He got all the gifts. It's really funny. He got all the gifts of money. I see it. It you is. Know? Stop, Storm. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be Hard nice to him. Family. You gotta you gotta be yeah. nice to him. I see him getting 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 all kinds of stuff. That's perfect. I see. It. I, I, I get a vision of loot falling down. That's crazy. Anyway, <laughs> enjoy your loot. <laughs> Talk to you. Love right. you guys. Don't forget Auntie you, Michelle, Auntie. Uncle Bean, and Uncle Gary. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Nice to see you guys. Soon. Yeah. Well, yes, we will She's, see you soon. Yes. See you soon. Love you, Take care. You Love guys. you guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. That's cool. Yeah, okay. Storm got all these gifts. He kept on getting gifts. It looked like it was raining stuff. So that's perfect. Who we got? Hey. Oh, okay. thank you, Gary. Can we go to Carletta Coleman? Carletta Coleman, please. Thank you, Carletta. All right, Carletta. Unmute yourself. I'm unmuting myself. Hi. All right. Hi. Hi. Thank you, Michelle. You Hi, welcome. Gary. I'm hey, so girl. glad that you're better. Thank you. I feel great. Thank you. Good. I'm so happy. Thank you. Uh, I have a question. Okay. I have a, I have a, uh, my best friend since 10th grade, my sister girl, um, she had a tragic accident on Wednesday night and she fell down her stairs in her home. And um, they took her off life support yesterday. And I just want to know, is she okay and where she is? I'm just devastated. Well, she's she's like a lot of people are in comas. She's hovering above her body. Okay. And and so she she injured her head and her neck, right? Yes. Yeah. And so so it it wasn't a wrong decision because I don't see her head her brain working. Okay. And so, did they say that? Um, her daughter said that there was there was no life at all. Okay. There was no life at all. Right. And so, but I see that she's brain dead. Okay. Yeah. And and so so um, 
it's never nice when I'm talking about your best friend and I says, you know, and I'm telling you she's brain dead. But in other words, I'm letting you know that the, the, the whoever the hospital made a, 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 not a wrong decision, you know, um, and and so because I don't see her being able to to uh, survive, okay. okay. And with the particular injuries that she got. And so, but I can see her hovering above her body. And so I'm going to hook her to the light so that she has an easy, an easy way. Okay. Is that okay? That's okay. And Good. so, and so, so, and you can help call her name. Joanne. Okay. And tell Joanne to take all the angels hands. Joanne, take all the angels' hands. There's a bunch of angels all around her, and she just reached up in the, in, and just grabbed all their hands, you know, is what I see. So there's a band of angels around her, and, and she's going to be fine. And so now notice how warm you got right then? Yes. Okay, so you just hooked her up with all the angels, and there's a band of angels that comes down uh, sometimes to help people get to the other side. And so, and that's what you just invoked and you did her the biggest favor ever. Okay. And so she won't, she won't feel anything uncomfortable and, and, uh, she'll, she'll go pretty quick. Okay. okay. Is what I feel. <clears throat> and, okay. and, and so, um, and I, I see this, I, I see this, uh, this happening and, and, okay. um, and so notice how you feel really warm now. Yes, I do. Okay. Well, she just All hooked over. up. her. Okay, because well, she just hooked up with the big heaven light. Okay? okay, and so and that's what you want. Okay. Yes. And so so you did you did her big favor. Okay, honey. Good. All right. Good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your loss. All right. Thank you. So, hey, love you a lot. Love you too, Gary. Thank you. Well, God bless her. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so even though, you know, tonight we're talking about a lot of healing and a lot of stuff that's going on and, and a lot of crazy things, but, but you know, these some of these negative things, of course, we don't want to have any of these things happen to us, right? We want to have positive things happen to us. And so so you want to just think about these positive things. And, and so anytime you see a bunch of negative junk coming your way, go higher, go higher and realize the light today is a bright light and you guys are all privy to it you can get there from here you end up in these crystal heavens that look like these crystals beside of me okay and so and, and so it's, it's like these big golden crystal heavens and, and 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 you'll see purple and blue and you'll see reds and you'll see white which looks like diamonds you'll see all these different colors all these in green, which is healing. And so all these heavens are, are spiritual gifts and all these new heavens have opened up, which gives us a whole different thing of light to deal with, you know, in a very positive way. And you guys will be able to get bigger and bigger and bigger gifts. And so, and that's what we need today. It takes a lot of light to pull things off today. And so, and this will keep you, keep you out of that. And a lot of you guys like Nancy, you know, will, will be able to kick into these crazy gifts, you know, or like storm, you know, that, that, you know, he was, he was born, he was like me, he was born a spiritually gifted kid, you know, he could see God from a child, you know? And so, and, and so, so, you know, all these different, different spiritual gifts, guys will kick in. All you got to do is want them to happen and then allow that to happen to you. And you're going to find that you, you'll be able to go to these higher spaces, higher zones and get these big gifts that will heal you up and fix whatever problem, whatever problem you got, it'll just sort it out anyway who we got michelle who are we talking to oh and i'm supposed to talk about my master class too and so <laughs> I, I got a master class that's happening uh next for all you guys who are in my enlightenment club and if you're not in my enlightenment club get in it if there's ever a time where you want to get and join the the enlightenment club it would be now because i got all this new stuff to teach you and so and i'm doing that next uh sunday and so, Dean, when is that? Sunday the... Next Sunday when, the 30th. 30th, right. And yes. that's at 2, 2 p.m. Eastern. And so, um, but I, I, if, you, if you're not in my Enlightenment Club, join the Enlightenment Club. Also, that I'll clear your energy every Wednesday with you. And, and so, the, but this is really an important time to tap into these new gifts that are, that are happening. And so, I'll be doing the, the um, online Enlightenment Club. Uh, and this is a spiritual master class. It's starting. And it's Sunday, January 30th at 2 p.m. Eastern. And so uh, this is this is really important that you that you 
join that, you know, and if you're already in that, make sure you attend it because it really, really, really will help change your life. And I did maybe a little bit of a teaser tonight uh, talking about all the different spiritual gifts that come down and I'm watching them as you guys are empathing them from each other. And it, it's pretty amazing. So anyway, we'll see what happens. Who we got? Thank you, Gary. Okay. Um, yes. Can we go to Angela Kappenman, please? Okay, Angela, unmute yourself. Hello. Can you Hi. Yeah. Yes. Are, you, are you unmuted? I hope so. Yes. Okay, can you, you, can we can hear you. Oh, you. yay. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, mom. You're alive. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so what's your question? Um, a couple days before Christmas, my um, aunt passed away. And um, we're not sure how. She passed away. We know she was um, a closet user, but um, she couldn't breathe. And her um, her husband found her on the bed and she said she couldn't breathe. And he called the ambulance, but she she passed away. I think she had a lot of things going on. How old was she? 58. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It feels like 78. Oh, you know? Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. it feels like she. It feels like she was rode hard and put up wet, so to speak. In other words, like she. It feels like she had a lot of, you know, traumas and dramas. You know, makes Lots sense. Of to trauma. You? Yep. 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 Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. You know, and so so I think it was heart related. And okay. So, and so that's what I see, and so that and it feel, and and it feels like it was a double trouble thing where it's almost like a heart problem and then a stroke problem or some explosion in her brain, you know? Mm -hmm. So she had a lot of things going, you know? And so, mm -hmm. um, but, but she was, uh, she was, she still made it to heaven bizarrely. And, and so, you With know, winter solstice. Yeah. So yeah. that's good. Well, I'm, I was worried she wouldn't have, if it was, you know, yeah. Drug yeah. And stuff well, well, I think it might've been that, but she still got there, you know, mm -hmm. she was, she was pretty much a bright light. You know, mm -hmm. and so so there's bright light people that get high too, I guess. And so so she's <laughs> like, you know, she's, you know, yeah. she she's in heaven. Um, I see the angel Michael around her. So I mean, she was she was a person that did a lot of good stuff for other people too, you know. Mm -hmm. And and so and she she loved everybody in her weird way, and and so that probably makes sense to you. And, and so, but she, she's uh, over in heaven. She blows you a kiss and she says she's doing really, really good. Good. And, and, so, and she's, she's holding a book in her hand. <clears throat> I don't know what this means, uh, but she's, she's just holding this book. I'm, I'm trying to get out of her. What does it mean? And so she's holding this book. Oh, she said she's reading through God's library. So I don't know okay. if she'd like to read or not, but, but she's actually reading through God's library interesting you know that's yeah that's cool yeah. and she says she's finally figuring out how everything works <laughs> oh and good so, yeah she was she knew <laughs> yeah so i think she was always into the, the how does it work kind of thing you know mm -hmm. and and so she's good she loves you she said she told she says isn't she, isn't she pretty she said you know that's what she's, <laughs> she's talking about you you know she's very very happy and you're where's your mom she's right here oh she wants to say hi Oh, there. Oh, hey, mom. And so she wants to say hello to you, you know? And so I she don't. tells me, yeah, she tells me to tell you that she's not as stubborn as she used to be. She <laughs> says, she said, all you got to do is die. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, there you yeah. go. <laughs> and so, and so that's, that's funny. And so she says, all you got to do is die that you're not stubborn anymore. She's laughing. Blows you a big kiss though. Okay. That's funny. She knew you were in the room. That's crazy, right? Yeah. 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 That's Hiding funny. over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So she's calling you out. She says, don't worry. I still run stuff from up here. <laughs> she thought she ran everything, you know, and so she's <laughs> laughing. Yeah, she's making jokes. Anyway, it's all good. She blows you a big kiss, Thank okay? You. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. You're, you're very appreciate welcome. You. Hey, appreciate you guys. That's good. Who we got? Yeah. Who are we talking okay. to? Okay. Can we get Lori Goodman? Lori Goodman. She has her hand raised. Do you have your camera on? Oh, there she is. Hi, Lori. By the way, Lori's the Hi, one Lori. that created all those amazing jewelries, and I wear 
all of them. She created the wellness necklaces that she donated to Gary's Ojai and Troy retreat. So thank you so much, Lori. Everybody, where's your jewelry? <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, thank yeah. you so much. So, so thank you. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. So um, I woke up this morning with a really, really bad headache. My stomach's kind of weird. I've been hot and cold and sleeping most of the day. Hmm. So is it the big C or? I think so. Hmm. Yeah. I wish I would say no. <laughs> Should I lie to you? <laughs> no. Anyway, anyway, here we go. Let me just clear you off. There we are. But I don't think it's worst case scenario for you, which is good. Okay. You know? And so there we are. And so I just cleared all this junk off of you. Feel how you got lighter? Yeah. Okay, good. And so I want you to ask God for all the spiritual gifts. Ask God, say, God, please give me all the spiritual gifts of healing. God, please give me all the spiritual gifts of healing. Okay, there we go. And now then a big white crystal went around you. Okay. <laughs> and it looks like this one. This one Ooh, right here. Cool. Okay. And okay. so this is, I found this in my, in my grandmother's field when I was a little boy. Wow. Right. Wow. And so, and so, and so it was just out in my Wanted to come field. to you. Yeah. And so in any way, but just imagine this crystal. Okay. And so, and there we are and imagine yourself inside of it and imagine all the dark energy outside of it. Okay. Okay. So, and that's what you do. All right. And okay. So, and it's a really powerful crystal, you know. Awesome. And so, isn't that crazy? I found that in the field. <laughs> yes. So, I must have been about That's five years busy. old. Wow. And so now look how warm you feel. Yes. Crazy, right? Yep. Yep. There you go. Sinus is open. Feel? Better. Yeah. 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 See? yeah. And now you feel like you can breathe. Feel that? Mm hmm. Good. And now I see beams coming out of your body. And there and now your head went quiet listen wow you ever, you've never heard your head quiet before no <laughs> <laughs> that's because you have no entities and no dark energies beating you up okay wow okay crazy feeling right yes yeah and so there we go <laughs> yeah you're gonna be fine you're gonna be Great. fine yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome so much. And so <laughs> I'm projecting lots of love and lots of light and lots of healing to you, okay? Okay. And let, us, let us know how you're doing and then twist us up some more jewelry. I love that. Okay. Thank <laughs> you're you. So, you're so creative. Big Thanks. kisses. Okay, honey? Kisses we, to you. Love you a lot. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Michelle. You're welcome. Thank you, Lori. Good luck. Feel better. Okay. What do we got let's let's run through two or three people real quick because, yes. because they're, they're screaming show over time. And so okay. you know, last week I went forever and ever. So let's oh, talk to a few you. more. Let's talk okay. to a few more people. And for you guys, if you want a private reading with me, now's a good time to get one because I'm I'm really a spiritual freak of nature, especially with healing stuff and manifesting things. And so. Call me up, 800-827-GARY. And we'll, we've got, I think, uh, two spots for tomorrow. And so I'm actually working tomorrow. And and uh, and we've got two spots for tomorrow. And so you can call right now, 800-827-GARY, 800-827-4279, GarySpivey.com. And uh, make sure you join us next week for uh, the Enlightenment Club. And I'm going to do I'm doing a seminar all on, on Sunday, starting at 2 o'clock Eastern. And I'll teach you guys a lot about this whole new Zion heaven that opened up and all these brand new spiritual gifts that are really quite amazing amazing and they're also supercharged and there's a there's so much light and so much healing that I, i'm really seeing crazy miracle stuff every day and so i'm just so happy that i can see all this and and even with me living they said that i probably wouldn't live you know remember dean when we got to the hospital they said uh you're gonna and, uh, die. you have 25 <laughs> chance 25 yeah. chance and um, you're closer to debt than you know yeah, everything negative they could possibly tell you, they told you. Yeah, me. I'm like, oh, well, really? Well, you don't know me that well. And so, <laughs> and and so, but it, but it was really, it's, it's really like that. And so, so we all need miracles these days. We need amazing miracles in our lives. And and as you go into these higher heavens, um, it becomes habit. It becomes normal. It don't become some far out thing. 
but it actually really is something that's tangible that really happens. And so, so I'm going to talk about that next Sunday. I'll be doing that from uh, um, two o'clock on for a while and uh, Eastern. And so make sure you guys are a part of that. And if you're in the online club, make sure you attend. If you're not in the online club, go to GarySpivey.com. And if you, uh, like I said, if you need a, a private reading with me, 800-827-GARY. I've got two spots tomorrow. And so I appreciate you guys so, so much. I love you a lot. And Michelle, who we got? you got a couple of people. Who is it? Yes. Thank you, Gary. Can we get Jen? J-E-N. Please. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. Jen, J-E-N. Got it. All right. Jen, let me meet yourself. Hi, Gary. Hi. Hey, girl. Hey, what's your question? <laughs> I'm here with my niece, Haley, who um, lost her mom at a young age. Hmm. And on Wednesday, her grandmother passed away, who she was very close to, and that is um, her mom's mom. And she just wants to know that they're okay. They're both in heaven together and reunited. Well, they're both funny. <laughs> and and so they're making jokes at each other and and they're like do you go first or do i go first do you go first or do i go first and so usually and and but they're telling me um that they were both her mother that like the, the grandma was mm -hmm. like the mama almost right <laughs> yes yeah okay and so your grandmother says that you were the best daughter that could ever be and your mother says no she's my best daughter that could ever be and so <laughs> so so they they're fighting with each other in heaven does that make sense to you a little bit and yeah, so absolutely. yeah yeah i think Ooh. one of them says i cook better than the other one though i think that's maybe that's the grandma she's making jokes or maybe you know the mom <laughs> but, they're, but they're, which one was the better cook I don't think either of them were great cooks. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Okay, because they're making jokes about being a good cook, you know. <laughs> they, I think they both probably believe they're decent cooks, but neither of them were. You're a good cook, right? <laughs> You're a good cook. You know how to cook. <laughs> You know, and and so well. Anyway, so they're just making jokes with each other, but they, they they tell me to tell you that they love you very much, and they're they're um, uh, your mom says she's giving your grandmother angel lessons. Oh. And so I'm giving her angel lessons, and Lord knows this old bag needs them. And so so your mom is really quite cocky, you know, with her. Is that how she was? Yes. Yeah. So because yeah. she calls your grandmother an old bag, and so. <laughs> And so, and, and your grandmother's saying, well, I can be as young as I want to be. I'm in heaven. And so your grandma's actually making jokes and talking about being young now, you know? And so she's like, I'm going to go walking on the b beach in a bikini. So your grandma, if you can imagine her out on the beach, traipsing up and down with a bikini anyway. So, yeah. So I think they're okay. It sounds like to me, they're in heaven and blissful. Um, yeah. and, and so, but they, they told me they will follow you and be with you for the rest of your life. And so always know that. And I see books and books and books. Are you studying something? What are you doing? Right now? Yeah. Just working. She just oh. finished school. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. They're showing all, me all these books. And so you're going to, whatever you're doing with your school, um, is going to be super important and it'll kick in in two months okay Ooh. okay so i don't know if you're making a applying for jobs or things or something or whatever this is does that make any sense yeah i think so yeah okay yeah so well anyway so they, they've got it hooked up they said all you got to do is show up show up and so, <laughs> so 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 they're just you know running along helping your life out from heaven and so they both love you very much and so, and they're just saying, they're just saying, thank you for being in their life, you know? And they said, you're not done with them yet. <laughs> you know, you know, and so, and, and, and so, and this is your auntie here, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. 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 They're, they're making jokes and they said, I hope you get old. <laughs> Cause they're making, they're laughing and saying they're not old in heaven. And they're, they're saying, yeah, yeah. we would so, rub it in. <laughs> yeah. So they're telling you, I hope you get old. <laughs> anyway. I hope I get old too. <laughs> yeah. That's good. They're blowing you a big kiss. Anyway, good luck with all that. Your, your family members are crazy. They're all nuts. 
Anyway, <laughs> funny <No>. stuff. <laughs> All right. No. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who else have we got? That's I'm funny. Thinking. Thank God we talked to funny dead people. You know, the night's been like, you know, we're talking about healing and everybody's sick and stuff. You know, but, you know, we talked to funny dead people. That's good. Who we got? Thank you, thank you Gary. Can we go to uh, Karen from Karen? Oh, cool. <laughs> I wanted to talk to her. I saw her. Hey, Karen. That's good. Hi. There you go. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi. Hi, Hi Gary. Hi. Hey. Hi. Quick question. Uh, Wednesday night. I had a terrible dream about being kidnapped by the cartel. Mm -hmm. Is there any truth to this? No. Oh, thank uh, goodness. No, no. It was more like being kidnapped by a, a dark spirit that was around one of your family members. Okay. You know? and, okay. And so, and Where my new house is being built, is there any cartel in there? My mother keeps telling me that there's cartel in that area where my house is built that's the family member <laughs> and so and so there we are let me clear the energy off that there we go better see how you got light yes yeah all right yeah Thank you. See, sometimes projections can come through you know people who are loved ones even you know and so uh -huh. i just got rid of that so it'll be better, <laughs> it'll be better. Okay. Yeah. okay yeah so you got warm all over you feel warm now i can feel it yeah i do i do Good. thank you thank Good. you Oh, big kiss, my. big love. Thank you. Right. Love you too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Michelle, you got one more person. Who is yes. it? Yes. Okay. This is Jacqueline de Grasse that wanted to talk about a little boy that passed away on her property, but she's listed under iPhone 909645. 909645. All right. Yeah. iPhone. Jacqueline de Grasse. Just like Hi, a, can you hear me she's like a spy yes. you got you got this spy code <laughs> can you hear me <laughs> yes Near, we, can hear you, we can hear you yes we're here uh, <laughs> i wanted to first tell you when you got sick i wasn't aware but spirit woke me up and i held your silver cord and thank uh, god <laughs> yeah well thank you you're welcome because I know you can't pass if it won't sever, but um, anyway, I'm so appreciative you're still with us. Thank you, thank um, you, thank you. Two, me too. Two years, <laughs> two years ago, you helped me get my little house here, and I bought it uh, knowing that a young boy died on the property in a motorcycle accident. I do not know his name. There is a little toy soldier and Joe. I, I keep throwing it away and it reappears. I gave it another one to another little boy last week and the toy appears again all the time in this one spot. I asked angels to take him, but I don't. I think he's still here. Is he like a, is the toy a, a little doll? Sort of. It's, it's a a green GI Joe soldier. Oh, okay. But no matter what I do with it, it comes back. That kind of freaks me out, Michelle. Does that freak you out? It does. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, it keeps coming back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, because I, I think, I think he's still here. I see the I see the the boy's name Joe. That's what I feel. Okay. Because I ask him his About name. About seven or eight. Yeah, I can, but I can, I can see, and I'm just, I, 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 I can see him wandering around. Can I get him to the light? Is that okay? Yes, please. Yeah, because you don't want any possessed toys. That freaked me out. I mean, I'm good with possessed people, demons, whatever, possessed toys. Maybe I watched that movie. What's that crazy movie? You know, with the little <laughs> what? Is it Chucky? <laughs> But that little doll that kills people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't like that doll. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. You know, even I get freaked out with that thing. Anyway, <laughs> so let me, let me, okay. Just say the name Joe. Joe. Okay. Oh, yeah. I got him. Okay. Say, look up. Look up, Joe. Say, go up that white ladder. Say, go up that white ladder. 
go up the white ladder, Joe. Okay, there he goes. And there he goes. And there you go. I got him. It's really simple. He went. You know? Thank you. Good. And then I saw these crazy little possessed toys going. Good Lord. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. For me, that's crazy, right? <laughs> so finally you, you hit my crazy button. You know, and and so because I see all these little crazy possessed toys flying up, you know. Gary, can you? help me with my throat it's been this way for months yeah there we go there we go uh-huh yeah you have you have a slight of fungal infection in your lower sinus cavity in the back okay and that's okay. what's doing it yeah if you do a, a, a thing where you do a fungal wash instead of a back it, and there, you can take an antibiotic it's not going to fix it you know doctors no, I'm an anti-fungal now okay well good that'll work okay do that all right okay all thank right. you Hey, and good I luck. Love you. love you back. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, you for, thank you for holding that, that God cord together. That was important because it was mine. <laughs> anyway. I know it was. You're thank welcome, you. my friend. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Bye. You know, <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> stuff. I don't know about no possessed dolls. You know, that's like, you know, that, anyway, you know, Michelle, we'll have to, we'll have to do a show on that sometime. Yeah. Okay, that'll be fun. <laughs> we, we'll do a show on what freaks you and me out. How about that? <laughs> Thank so, you. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. So you've got this um, bugs. You don't like bugs. No. <laughs> I can't <take> <laughs> <laughs> Ew. No. <laughs> no, thank yeah. you. Right. There we are. I'm okay with bugs. I'm not okay with possessed dolls anyway. <laughs> but anyway, next week, what are we doing? Okay. So we're doing the master class on Sunday. And so awesome. all you guys check it out because you're going to learn some stuff. And this is brand new stuff that I just learned. Um, and so uh, one thing, you know, with being sick for a while, you know, and, and I was sick, I couldn't speak. My voice was goofy. And, and so, um, you know, it, it was really wild. So I just got to hang out with God and learn. And so I learned so many things that I can teach you guys, and I'm really happy to do it. And so these days, and all these things just bring in light. They bring in spiritual gifts, and you guys are going to really, really enjoy that. And you need it these days because there is a lot of stuff going on that's, that's you know, you need light for it. You need a whole lot of light. And so I'm projecting a lot of light to you, a lot of love to you, a lot of healing to you. And uh, let's see, what else, Dean? Tomorrow I've got two readings, you know, that I can feel. Yes, I'm already answering the phone. I got oh, somebody yeah. on hold right now. Yes. So you have oh. one to you have yeah, one and Dean, tomorrow. Yeah, and Dean's answering the yeah. phone. You get to talk to Dean. And yes. so 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 call right now, 800 827 Gary. And I love you guys and I thank you, thank you for being here. And please be here next week. And uh because I want to keep on showing you guys <clears throat> and getting you these different gifts. As we brought down and I opened you up in these heavens, and I hear everybody got it. So everybody got opened up in some of these heavens that we were talking about. And as you do that, you're going to find, you're going to feel different. You're going to notice the difference and you're going to be like, wow, something occurred. And so just be aware of that and embrace it, allow it to come in more and it will. Anyway, I love you guys and hey, I'll see you next week and I'll see you Wednesday. All you guys in the online club, I'll see you Wednesday for the energy clearing. Big kiss, big love. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Bye.